folks, welcome back to Soul Therapy with Lady D. Instead of doing a biblical verse today, I'm going to talk to you about the power of our word and the power of the blood covenant of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are divine chosen ones of God. All of us that have souls that are attached to God. We have divine DNA. There is power in our word. The enemies of our world, the ones, the devil and the ones working for the devil, they have disempowered us because they've brainwashed us over um, years and years and years of programming. They have tried to convince us that we are disconnected to God and our source, that God has forsaken us, that we are powerless and that they have all the power over us. We are not slaves. They do not have any power over us. We have the power of God, the Christ within we have the power of our word. So how do we protect ourselves from evil? How do we protect ourselves from being um, influenced negatively by evil forces? Very simple. We use the power of our words. We say, I rebuke all evil. If you feel that something has attached itself to you or that um, something ungodly is around, you just say, I, through the mighty power of Jesus Christ, I rebuke you. I banish you from my heart, my mind, my soul, my body, my family in all spaces of time and space in all dimensions. I banish you in the name of Jesus Christ. If you feel ill or if, you, if someone has fallen ill, you say, my me or my husband or my son, my daughter, and her name, I, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that this disease is gone. My body is God's body. My life is God's life. And the healing power of God that created me from a cell knows all the processes of my body and is healing, restoring, controlling, all the processes of my body and restoring me back to perfect health. If somebody in your family is sick, for instance, let's say it's your, it's your dog, even your dog, okay? Because they're family. You say, my dog Fido is known in divine mind. My dog Fido is a divine being that is loved by God. God knows Fido. He knows all the processes of his body. And the healing presence of God that created Fido is restoring him, healing him, controlling all the processes of his body so he is restored to perfect health. For his life is God's life. His body is God's body. And the healing presence of the Jesus Christ, our Lord, has restored him to perfect health. So be it. Thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. If there's one thing that the enemy, the demons, the devils hate, is Jesus Christ. If you ever feel that there's evil around you, if you ever feel disempowered, you say, I embrace my power in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke all evil in the name of Jesus Christ. If there's any entities in your house that you don't like, you say, all entities, I banish you in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall leave my house and never return in the name of Jesus Christ. You have no power over Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is more powerful than you. I banish you from my heart, mind, and soul in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. State everything in the name of Jesus Christ. They hate that. The devil hates that. The demons and the evil ones hate that because they know as soon as you say in the name of Jesus Christ, you say Jesus Christ, they know that they're done, that they're powerless because Christ is God and Christ's power is so immense, it overtakes them. They cannot even be in the presence of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is more powerful than evil. Okay? So don't ever live in fear. Don't ever feel that you're powerless. You have more power than you know. 
pick up your Bible and read the word of the Lord. Yes, we know that the Council of Nicaea back in the 16th century with that asshole Pope who was really working for the deep dark cult, who was a false Pope, who was compromised by the devil at the time, took out many, many verses of the Bible. And we know that he picked and chose and some of the real, real great stuff of the Bible has been taken out and hidden. And probably in the Vatican. However, like I said before, this is the closest thing we have to the Word of God. Okay? There's power in our words. There's power in our covenant with God. Jesus Christ died for our sins. He actually was in hell for three days. He went through hell, literally, and was there for us. Why? Why? So the devil couldn't do it. So we, he saved us, so we didn't have to do it. We didn't have to go to hell. Please don't be deceived and fooled that, you know, the devil's winning, the bad guys are winning. They're not. Let this all play out. Let us not think that we know better than the infinite creator that created us. For our small human minds can't even conceive the power of the Lord and what is really going on. For the Lord God has a view of this world and of all the dimensions that we can't even comprehend. God has this. And we are his children. So remember... If you're sick, you, you say to that any illness, anything that's attached to me that is making me ill in my mind or body, that is connected to e evil, that is not of God. And we all know that anything that is sickly or any disease is not of God. It's energy, bad energy. You cast it out. You demand it out of your body, of your mind, your soul, your life. You banish it forevermore in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, folks? I hope this helps. Please share this if you feel that it's good for you and that you like the word. Please join my channel. Excuse me, subscribe to my channel and hit the all notification button. I love you. God bless you. And don't ever think that the evil ones have any power over you. They don't. God is bigger and greater than all of them. I love you. God bless you. Praise the Lord.